What's up everybody, welcome to part 11 of my how to make a Pokemon tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to look at how to make a Pokemon. As in, we are going to be defining and making our own custom Pokemon. It's super awesome, because it's super easy. Let's get started. The first thing that we should look at is how to define the Pokemon. So, let's go to our Pokemon game, then go to the PBS and then um, the PBS folder, and then open Pokemon.txt. And in here you'll see the definitions for all the Pokemon, starting with number one, Bulbasaur. You got uh, name, internal name, all that good stuff. So what we can do really is just copy all this, scroll down to the bottom, and paste it. So the one at the very bottom is 649 Genesect. So we're going to make our own starting at 650. So the very first thing we have to do is look at the ID, which is 650, that's the number the Pokemon will be. And uh, we're going to make our own Pokemon. Um, I was messing around and making stupid Pokemon before, but let's. I, I, I feel like let's make Rowlet. Um, you know, the uh, Gen 7 super cutie uh, for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So name Rowlet, all caps Rowlet. So name and internal name are really easy. You know, just lowercase version and then uppercase version. Um, and then type 1 and type 2 are pretty self-explanatory as well. Uh, let's do grass and then type 2 flying. Nice. Base stats. These are any number between, I think, 0 and 255. I just want to keep it basic. Like, I'm not going to worry too much about modifying the base stats on uh, this. But you have the power to do so if you wish. Um, gender rate. This is stuff like female one eighth, female one half. Let's do female one half. There's a um, there's a page on the Pokemon Essentials wiki that talks about how to define all of this stuff, and I'll link that in the in the description below. But um, yeah, so gender rate, female one half, growth rate, parabolic. Like there's sp specific growth rates you can enter as well. I'm just gonna keep it at parabolic. Don't worry. Base experience 64. I think that's how much experience you get when you defeat it in battle. I'm not going to modify that too much. Effort points, don't worry. Rareness, happiness. See, all this stuff is like super basic. Um, abilities, over, overgrow, and chlorophyll. Like, I could edit those to be something else. Um, I'll keep those the same. So there's ability and hidden ability. You you know what those are. You've played Pokemon. Um, moves. So the way moves work is the first number is the level it learns it, and then a comma, and then the move. So, at level 1 it knows Tackle, at level 3 it knows Growl. Let's make our Rowlet no Peck. And, uh... uh no, I don't want to do Wing Attack. I want to do, like, a good Grass move. I don't want to do Vine Whip, though. Uh, I'll do Vine Whip, whatever. What's the other one that's good? For, like, a starter. Oh, whatever. Oh, he learns Vine Whip here, too. Uh, let's make this Wing Attack. Cool. So like, you can go in depth and make a ton of moves for him to level up if you want to go super detailed. And then egg moves, you know, you know, like moves it can learn from. Like, there's there's a lot of really specific stuff you can put here because, you know, compatibility. I think that's for the breeding. Steps to hatch, how many steps it takes for it to hatch um, out of an egg. The height and uh, weight and the color, those are mainly used for Pokedex and searching. I'm not going to bother editing it. Like, yeah, this is all like super optional extra stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure everything that I've defined so far would allow us to put it in game. Like, already. It's that easy. Like, setting the names and the types and all that stuff, super easy. Um, regional numbers. That's if you want to get like crazy with like the Pokedex and stuff. It's actually optional. You don't need it. I, I don't think it does anything really. You can just delete that. Kind seed. I believe that's for breeding as well. And then the Pokedex entry. So this is just the entire Pokedex entry. So let's just customize this real quick and have it say Rowlet is a super cute baby owl from Pokemon Sun slash Moon. He is a super cutie. Okay, and then battle player Y and battle and battle player enemy Y is how much it's elevated. Um, basically, for some bird Pokemon, you might want them elevated more. So um, add 
like add a positive number there to increase how high it is. I'm not going to touch that at all. Um, I could, but, you know, you don't really need to worry about that. Battler altitude, yeah, that's all the same stuff. And then evolutions, this is important. So, it's the last thing. Um, basically, you set the Pokemon, comma, level, comma, 16. So that means it'll evolve to Ivysaur at level 16. There's other ways to set evolutions, though. Like, let me scroll up. Like, uh, actually, no, let me control F, Eevee. So, Eevee. Yeah, Eevee is a very good example because Eevee, Vaporeon, item, Waterstone. Jolteon, item, Thunderstone. Flareon, item, Firestone. So if you want a Pokemon to evolve by a stone, this is the format you can use. Or Glaceon, location, 34. Basically, the location at 34 is, it evolves by location, and 34 is the map ID. So, Leafeon, location 28, if you want it to evolve on the map of ID, with ID 28. Um, let's see, and then Happiness, Espeon, Happiness Day, and then a, an empty comma, which I guess that's the format. Umbreon, Happiness Night, and then empty. Yeah, so there's a lot of formatting and stuff, but I would say definitely look toward, look to other Pokemon that have already been defined, and then from there you can get a good idea of how you want to make your own Pokemon. And you can also do like trade Pokemon, but I don't I don't really like that too much. Like if I search Machoke, what is that? Yeah, that's it evolves to Machamp via trade and then empty comma. Um, so yeah, like let's just make our Rowlet evolve to Ivysaur at level 16, whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter, but for the sake of a basic example, let's just keep it this way. Cool. So uh, there's our Rowlet. Like it's already defined. That's it. But we still need art. So, that's the next step. There's really only there's really only a couple things you need to do when you're making your own Pokemon. So what you've done already is one of the most complicated parts. The next part is kind of hard if you're not good at art, or if you're not good at Googling and tracking down art. But um, what I've done... So basically, let's, let's, let's go look at this one step at a time. You're going to want to go to your graphics folder, then your battlers folder. And here you'll see a good example. What you've got is Bulbasaur, which is 001.png, and then Bulbasaur is back. So what you see when you're fighting an enemy is this, and what you see when it's your Bulbasaur is this. So 001B for back, and 001 for just regular, and then 001S for shiny, then 001SB for shiny back. So all the Pokemon in the game follow this format. The number of the Pokemon, and then the number of the Pokemon with its back. So, what I've done is actually I've gotten my own art for Rowlet. So, here's 650.png. Remember, that's the ID number that we defined at the very start. So, Rowlet is Pokemon number 650. So, 650.png, 650B, 650S, 650SB. I really just took a Rowlet and like made it orange. <laughs> um, but yeah. So the next thing that we want to do, now that if once you get the art there in your Battlers folder, it's just four images. Typically I like to keep them at the resolu- um, not- the, the image size should be about 160 pixels by 160. You can go higher, it really- there's really no limitation to how big you can make the pictures, like something like Kirim can be like huge, like let's see how big this is. 192 by 192, you could go bigger though. Um, but yeah, keep it around 160 by 160 or 192 by 192. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, once you have those four images, the next image that you're going to want is in icons, which is also in your graphics folder. So, just like the other one, just like the Bulbasaur example, you'll see icon 001. This is what you look. This is what you see when um, the Pokemon is on your team, and you're like looking through your Pokemon team. So, um, typically, you they. Traditionally, what the they use are two images that are slightly different. Like if I could zoom in, like that Hitmonchan looks like it's punching. Um, but what I did was I used two images that were the exact same, two two small pictures of Rowlet, and just kind of moved them over. They don't it'll it'll bounce up and down when you're looking at it on your team, but you know. Um, so yeah, really, what you can do is just copy one and then paste it over, and then like follow the exact spacing that the other one does, if that makes sense. Yeah, so that's another thing that you're going to need. And then the fourth, well, it's not really the fourth, but like, 
another the last image that you're gonna need is really easy it is in oh it's in icons as well it's in footprints so this is the footprint that you see for the Pokemon when you look at its entry in the Pokedex. Like, I'm going to scroll down all the way. Did I make one for 650? I did. Okay, cool. So I, what I really did was I think I copied Pidgey's footprint. I just copied it and then pasted it at the bottom. And boom, that's uh, footprint650.png. So that's Rowlet's footprint that you'll see in the Pokedex. And now the last thing you're going to need isn't in graphics. It's in audio. You're going to need the cry for the Pokemon. So what I'm going to do is so yeah you go to your audio and then you go to se for sound effects and you go to cries and um let's see i'm gonna copy hoot hoots cry which i think is 163 yeah okay so copy paste so now i have a copy of 163 cry and i'm just gonna rename it to 650 cry boom there we go so now I think that's everything. We have the data defined for the Pokemon, we have all the Pokemon art, and we have the cry. Oh, one, one last thing I need to mention. So in the last episode we talked about Pokemon following you. In the characters folder, that's where all the sprites are for the Pokemon that follow you. If you make a new Pokemon, you're gonna need to add a new thing to the uh, follower as well. So I don't have any art for Rowlet following me. Yeah, see, it ends at 649. Um, so, I don't have any art for it following me, so it'll look a little weird when I run the game. Oh yeah, let's... Uh, I'm making an event for this lady to uh, just give me a Rowlet. Let me just change the definition of this real quick. From Bulbasaur to Rowlet. Dope. Okay, cool. So this should work. I'm gonna get a Rowlet, and... Uh, Oh no! Oh, because I, I did the... Uh, oh, it has to be female 50%. See, there was a problem in my definition. Instead of doing female 1 half, I had to do female 50%. We're learning. There we go. Female 50%. Cool. Oh yeah, and um, while I'm looking at this again, there's different forms you can do for your Pokemon if you want to get super intense. I would recommend looking at Pokemon like Genesect and others um, and getting inspiration from them if you want to do forms. But yeah, that's all optional. But yeah, if you if you want to do that, RP um, Pokemon Essentials will allow you to do that. Cool. So now let's try running it again, now that I've corrected my mistake. The female 50%. Because, you know, Rowlet. Rowlet's such a cutie. I mean, Litten's cool as well. I don't know. It looks like... I mean, the, there was leaked evolutions and stuff. We'll see how that works. Okay. So, I could talk to her and she'll give me a Rowlet. But my team is full, so let me get rid of Chansey. I think I can just debug it off my team. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Sorry, Chansey. Okay, cool. I have a Rowler special Rowlet. Its ability is only something I could dream of. I can't look after it, though. Would you like it? Yes, please. I got it. Sweet. So, there it is. It's, like, shaking a little bit, but there's the art that we defined. I mean, it doesn't fit the art style of the game, but it's, it's working. And there he is. Oh, it's shiny, too. Yeah, I forgot. I made it so she gives you a shiny Rowlet. And listen to that cry. And you'll see in the top right, the dex number is 650, which we defined. The species is Rowlet, type Grass Flying, it's all there. And it has the Pokemon moves, doesn't it? Yeah, it has Tackle, Peck, Vine Whip, and Wing Attack. Nice, so there's our Rowlet. And I also made another event that gives you a non-shiny shiny Rowlet, I believe. Actually, no, I could just debug species this guy and change him to Rowlet as well. If you hold Page up and Page down, you can go through these super fast. So I'll turn him into a regular Rowlet. There we go, now we got two Rowlets. So that's a non-shiny, that's a shiny. Cool. So yeah, that's how you make your own Pokemon. You can go crazy with this. Um, since I don't have the follower sprite, check it out. This is what happens if you try to use a Pokemon without having the, the picture for the following. It will be following you, and you can interact with it, but there's no art for it. So yeah, that's pretty bad. But yeah, that's how you make your own Pokemon. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, really, the hardest part is tracking down the art and making your own art. Um, but once you've got that handled, once you can make the, the sprites for... Oh yeah, let me show it off in battle too. But yeah, once you can make the sprites for it in front and behind, as well as shiny versions, and then if you can make uh, small sprites for it to like bounce in your Pokemon team like this, um, then you'll be set. It's pretty simple, because the actual defining of it 
in the uh, PBS. Super easy. Oh, this is the wrong Rowlet. Oh well, but yeah, look, that's what it looks like from behind. This music in the battle is probably really loud right now. But yeah, that's how you make your own Pokemon. Super easy. And there's a shiny. Pretty cool. Let me run out of this battle. Let me go back to town also. Cool. Alright. Well, hopefully this episode helped you. Let me know if you have any questions or you'd like to see any more specific topics in the future. And uh, until next time, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please follow me on Twitter or Twitch and ask me any questions you got. It's so much easier for me to respond if you ask questions on Twitter or Twitch. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hopefully start streaming again soon. <laughs> Cross those fingers. But yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see ya. Peace out.